I, I don't know. Should we, <laughs> you know? No, we should maybe thank the Israelis for being so stupid, so dumb, and, and, and just, you know, this arrogance is, it, it transpired in October 7th because they, they didn't even bother manning the posts properly. They thought, oh, yeah, oh, look at us. We're so technologically superior. No one's going to get through this wall, and they got screwed. Check one, so, check, okay, check, you know, check. Keep, keep, uh, check one. Working towards your own device. I'll read you this just for contrast, okay, since we're talking about American presidents today. Check one, check, so, check. This is in 2002. President Bush issued one of his sharpest rebukes against Israel today. Um, once, one second. I'm Check one, two, one, two. There it is. There it is. There it is. One of the sharpest rebukes against Israel today, denouncing as heavy handed the attack that yeah, killed the Hamas leader and expressing regret over the loss of innocent life. So, do you know how Check many people up. were killed? 14. 14 people, including several children. Okay, so just for killing 14 people back then, George Bush. Can you imagine George W. Bush? You know, the guy who invaded Iraq, the guy who invaded Afghanistan, the guy who started the war on terror, the guy who created the, the Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> Fair the uses you too. In history. George Bush got angry at the Israelis for killing 14 Palestinian civilians. George Bush. Do you see that? I mean, Joe Biden uh, and, and neoliberals in general, they managed to out neoconservative the neoconservatives, which is why you have all the neoconservatives going to the Democratic Party. No surprise, right? It's no surprise David Frum and Bill Kristol, you know, all these, these perhaps you don't know their names because they were in the background running the, the, the Republican Party when you, you would see Bush and Cheney in the front, but th they are the neoconservatives of that time. They are now all in the Democratic Party, and they are avid supporters and odd. Yeah, yeah, y'all, I'm back. Hold on. Okay. We got 28 minutes on the video clock. I didn't delete the last one. This is your man, DJ GPS. I'm responding. See, I ain't, I, I'm not like Hassan Campbell and the rest of these big, big YouTubers. You put something in my comment section, I'm going to reply. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to reply to everybody's comment. And I might get back and make a video like I'm doing today. So this is my reaction to the comments of today's topics that I did yesterday on Gaza. So let me let me take care of the first comment. Because I don't like cowards. Back, 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 back. I don't like cowards. And I'm from D.C. We don't like people who vanish takers. We don't like bullies. We don't like vanish takers. We don't like cowards. It's like I said yesterday, no women, no kids. Let me get to this first. Let me get to this first, dude. And another thing, when I answer comment sections, I don't get greasy. I wanted to call him a bitch ass nigga. I didn't. I want to call him a bitch ass nigga now, but I'm not. But he's acting and representing a bitch ass niggerhood. Okay. Play that bitch nigga shit over here. We don't. These niggas don't play that bitch nigga shit. You do some bitch nigga shit, you wind up <sighs> left some motherfucking way. But play that bitch ass nigga shit. We don't play no kid. We don't play nobody hurting no fucking kids. We don't play nobody hurting no old people. We don't play nobody hurting no, hurt no woman. We don't play that shit over here. Let me get let me get my glass together, cause, like I say, I'm a fact over feeling type dude, so I'm not gonna get emotional. I'm very emotional. I get very emotional, especially when I see little dead babies, and people trying to perform CPR on babies, and babies with their hands blown off crying, and all their people's dead, mother, father, everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna get emotional. Let me get to this first. Let me get to him first. I'm gonna give my shout outs to. Okay, Marquis Dorsey, thanks, thanks, thanks for the thanks for the positive feedback. Thank Mar Marquis Dorsey. And my man Salam, I talk slow. I'm sorry, I'm gonna speed it up for you. Cause sometimes I had to get caught up, you know, I get caught up with the emotional thing, you know, I gotta catch myself just like news accommodates everybody else. I'm human. So I'm gonna talk a little quicker and push push it bar style this time for you. But thank thanks for, for commenting, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for viewing. Thanks to everybody who viewed. 
and, and, and constructive criticism is a part of this. You got to be able to, when you better accept what comes down the pipe. That's another DC saying. I don't give a fuck what I got to accept will come down the pipe with this. Okay. Okay, here we go. Mr. T Mac. T Mac 305. I went to your channel. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. He says, take your ass to Palestine, bro. Take your ass to Palestine then, bro. We have already helped out every race that stepped foot on this land and plenty more that haven't. We've done that without having anything in return. Even worse, we don't, we don't have, hold on. And plenty more. We have done all that without any in return. Even worse, we don't we don't do it just all for those same people who've hated and resented had and had resentment for us. And they even teamed up and used white supremacist detectives views towards us. Bullshit. If you if you're saying I'm not black because because I don't support Palestinians, then that then that's more than fine, as well as ain't never been black to begin with. What? Bro, it's like you're suffering from post-traumatic slave syndrome. This gotta be a white dude. This can't be no brother. Cause who just denounced their blackness because of a cause? You're goofy. I'ma roast you. I'ma cook your dumb ass up. Don't nobody denounce their blackness. What did you say? What did you you sound like a bitch ass nigga, bro. If you're saying I'm not black because I don't support Palestinians, then that's more than fine. As we ain't never been black to begin with, bro. It's like you're suffering from dramatic slave syndrome. It sounds like he be riding to, to the FBA and Tariq and them nuts. That's what it sounds like. And then I, I, I hit him back like, I, I told him, I said, look, if I could go and fight, not like some cowards that don't stand up for children, I'd have been in Palestine. My ass was going to motherfucking Afghanistan back in 93. I didn't want to leave my daughters over here and start a brand new life or whatever, or die over there, whatever, become a model, whatever. But ain't nobody scared of no work over no little kids and women. Ain't nobody scared of that work. You the only bitch ass nigga scared of some work. You know how many people try to get over to Palestine to fight that's over here? That's not even Palestinian. You know how many Palestinians are all are spread out all over the world because of this occupation for 75 years? You don't know shit. So until you do your research, until you ask Google uh, a Palestinian uh, support for the black cause in America during the 60s, then shut your motherfucking mouth up and stop wasting time on the keyboard, you goofy. Your bitch ass. Wow, that just blows me. Have you seen them pictures of little babies getting blown into pieces? Limbs of them hanging out buildings? You ain't seen that, bro? Fuck out of here. Nah, 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 I just had to deal with T Mac. What's the number? Because I don't want to get no T Mac's wrong. And T Mac underscore 305. They miss me with that shit, bro. Fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go back. And uh hold on. Okay, eyes and eyes open 6807. No group has suffered more than the innocent Jews. Oh group slave built Egypt Holocaust or September. October 7th, I am not a Jew or to be able to list hundreds of more terrible events, I will miss you with it by. Yes. Yes. All that is true. Just like I said, like I told, like I text back. Look like this jumps quick, huh? Look like this jumps quick, okay. That's true. 
Facts. No group of stuff. Most I would give that. I would give that. Cause they they've been going through they little stuff through biblical times. Uh, our stuff didn't really basically start. Well, our stuff were in, when you look at the books, they said you know when you the the, the black Israelites they they got a story too. So we was with that. But yeah, okay, that's fine. That's a true fact. But did you see it? Mr. Jewish person or somebody he says not Jewish, well, for the Jewish people. Did you see the Holocaust? Did you see them putting people in the ovens? Did you see them executing people? We know what happens. We have pictures, we have history. But we see the genocide in Gaza every day on the TV. Now, I don't know media you got to look for. It. You got to go on YouTube. I call it college tube, the learning tube. We see this happening to people. We see people dying. We see people starving. We see Jewish people destroying food that's supposed to go to the Gazan people. I seen this. So I don't want to hear about no innocent Jews over there. No Jewish civilians. Because I've seen Jewish civilians tear up the food that's supposed to go into the people that they their government has been bombing. Miss me with that shit, bro. Yeah, see, the comments gonna really gonna make me turn my whole show around because it's real easy. I got plenty of material research for years. 58 years old. I've been seeing this shit since I was 19. And for anybody who claim to be Muslim, believe in Islam, if you have not, to, uh, when I came into Islam, that was a part of being Muslim, that you have to be sympathetic and always pray for the brothers and sisters in Palestine. And that was a long time ago. That was when I was 19. I'm 58. This shit is still going on to the people. I don't want to hear that shit. Miss me with that shit. Miss me with that. The Jewish Holocaust. Miss me with the Holocaust. Yes, yeah, a terrible thing. Ratchet. But you're not seeing it on your living room. It's not in your living room. In order to find that, you can go do to the files over now. But you don't see live footage of bombs falling on tents of people that are running away from where you don't blew their building. No, Slim. If you, ain't fight, if you don't want to fight for that, even by using your voice or whatever it means, wearing a sticker or being a button, something, if you don't want to stand up for that, then do. You want, like I said yesterday, you one of them. You're the evil. You're the dark. You're the black void. The fuck is you talking about? Miss me with that shit. Son Campbell. Son Campbell. When are you gonna talk about Gaza? When are you gonna do your research? You research all this other bullshit. So that everything is everything that gang this, gang that, old hood tales. Tales from Rikers, all that shit. When are you gonna talk about Gaza? Oh, I'm about to pray. Oh, I'm about to fast. Drink a liquor. Come on, man. Y'all niggas need y'all need to need to tighten up your game. So I want to address. I want to address the reply. I just want to reject, address the people who comment in my comment section. I ain't afraid to come at your comment section. What? Let's do this. Cause I got books. I got books and information, research, receipts for anything that I say out my mouth. Believe me when I say this. There's no reason why not to. Two likes. 56 views. Appreciate the viewers. I'm glad people viewed this. I'm glad they did. I had to get this off my chest. That's why my music ain't been sounding right. I've been having writer's block. Uh, other little things I'm working on besides, you know, media. I work on it. I just been having a block because this gospel thing got my heart so gripped up. Pause for the calls, man. Get myself together.
it's no surprise David Frum and Bill Crystal, you know, all these, these perhaps you don't know their names because they were in the background running the, the, the Republican Party when you, you would see Bush and Cheney in the front. Lincoln, Bernie Sanders, uh, Joe Biden himself. Shout out to Richard Mayhurst. Hillary Clinton, all, all of them, everyone, everyone and their uncle went and issued condolences and, 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 and uh, uh, well, not condolences, but expressed their sympathies for, for poor old Donald Trump, right? Not a word about 100 Palestinians. And to make matters worse, this didn't just happen in the Moas refugee camp. Shakti as well. 15, 15 killed there. So, I mean, if, if, if you just count all the camps, right? I can't. Because it's, it's, it's difficult oh, to lose I count. can't. Oh, But just... I can't. I can't. You heard them. They're killing people in refugee camps. They're dropping JDAMs, 500 pounders, 1,000 pound bombs, on tents, cloth, cloth and sticks. Last time I checked, I don't think a Hamas general or commander would be hiding out in a tent. I think all those guys are underground. We got scared to go get. They're not going up in the tunnels. Or you go up in a refugee camp and kill unarmed civilians, unarmed. Because God help you, if they had any anti-aircraft defenses or if they had their game up, you wouldn't be doing that shit. That's why you don't really want to fuck with Hezbollah. But they're killing people in tents. Women and children in tents. Even all the men are too old to fight. Or the men that want to stay with the people, the community, to help as much as they can with the genocide. And then you got the people that's that's in the tunnels trying to whip the sh gonna beat the sh trying to get can't wait to get their hands on the idea of soldier. Did you did you did you see the footage? Did they got one of them? And Hamas was dragging that ass in the tunnel? It looked like a horror movie is about to happen to his Israeli ass. Yeah. They caught one of them slipping. They showed the video. Oh, you, 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 I got to do your research. I'm not going to be doing research for y'all because ain't nobody send me no money. Nobody send me no money to do research for y'all because I could pump it. I could crank it. They dragged this Israeli as, as IDF ass in that tunnel. And us, and it, all, the, all you saw was the fib. He was, must have been knocked out of well. He wasn't dead, but he going to wish he was dead. Shout out to New York again, how they try to get their hands on on that dude that killed that lady in that apartment. The whole hood, the police, the police almost couldn't stop the hood trying to get his ass to get that, trying to get to his ass while they try to put him in an ambulance. See, that's the energy I need. I don't need this coward energy. Oh, we done for so many people and we ain't got nothing back. You don't need nothing back, you bitch ass motherfucker. You just need to know the fact that you did the right thing and stood up as a man for something right, you bitch ass. If we ain't getting nothing back, stop asking for something back. It was an old, it was an old saying. Uh, uh, um, there's either two ways to give. You either get from the heart or you get from the pocket. You get from the pocket when you expect something to come back. You get from the heart expecting nothing. So which one is you, you bitch ass motherfucker? That one pissed me off. I came in ready to jump this morning. I was doing my regular research like I'm doing now. And I guess, and let me see how many views I got on that joint yesterday. I'm not pressed for this shit. I ain't getting no money off this shit. All this shit is mine. All this is mine. I'm not. I, I don't know no bills or nothing. I'm not paying for. I'm not paying to be on media. I'm not paying for the subscribers. I'm paying for none of that shit. I'm doing my motherfucking show. I got my own Hollywood. You sitting in my motherfucking own Hollywood? Fuck that. Oh, bitch ass nigga, you ain't getting back. Nigga, you don't supposed to ask for nothing back. You're supposed to be happy and glad that you made the Lord happy by doing something good. By doing something righteous. Might be your chance to clean up some of your bad deeds. Y'all fools, y'all fools kill me.
Put aside the number of people killed, just the principle of having all these refugee camps, Jabaliya refugee camp, Shuja'iya refugee camp, uh, Shati refugee camp, uh, also uh, Moasi refugee camp. Why are there so many refugee camps there? What does that tell you? It's because the Palestinians have been forced out of their homes, right? It, you, you have refugee camps in the same country when people are internally dis displaced. Who internally displaced the Palestinians? The Israelis. You understand? So many of these people in Gaza don't even come from Gaza. They come from maybe just outside of Gaza. You know, the October 7 settlements that were attacked, which, which they tell you belong to Israelis. No, <laughs> no, those are, those are Palestinians who attacked their own old homes that have been taken over by thieves, okay? If someone ro steals your house and then you come back or your son comes back and attacks the house, it doesn't make it someone else's house. It's still your fucking house. You're just trying to take it back. That's exactly what happened on October 7. And some of them maybe don't come from just outside of Gaza. They maybe come from Jerusalem. Maybe they come from, uh, uh, you know, from Jericho. It doesn't matter. But they come from different areas of Palestine. And they were all just kicked out of their homes and scooped up into Gaza. And now, on top of that, they're bombed and bombed and bombed. And before 2000, 2005, they were... And you don't want to stand up for that. You don't want to stand for that, bitch ass. You don't want to stand up for that. I wish I could. I'm an old man now. And I, I, I was a young dude back when I was going to go to Afghanistan. Let me tell you something. Ain't no way in the world, no real man, no real black man, warrior class. See, not a warrior class. Shout out to Jason Black. I shout out when I use people's, use people's little things and little memes and stuff. You're not a warrior class, bro. You ain't got that in you. You ain't got that, that David Goliath spirit, bro. You don't have that. You ain't come from that cloth, bro. So I hope you get back with me and I can educate you. But right now, the, the day you kind of pissed me off with that punk shit. Okay, so if, you, if when you give when you give a comment like that, expect me. I don't care if you're big YouTuber or not. I'm answering all my comments, even if I had thousand subscribers and I had live. I'll be on that. Fuck a moderator. I'm on my game. I do my show and be and be on the chat board at the same time. I did that through doing house music DJing online. You know. Shout out to crossfader.com. That's why I started the internet DJ business. That's why I started that. But I've been researching and studying as soon as I got my answer to the computer. That's been like almost 20 years ago. I don't hear that shit, man. You, you bet it, black people, we're going to have to get an ally somewhere. We're going to have to get an ally, black people. We done for some reason. We ain't getting back. What? We need all the allies we can get. And who ain't a better ally than, a, than, than some Muslims? They got a big club over there. I think I talked about this before. Do you know how much Islam has helped black men? Let's go back as long. Let's go back as long as uh, all the way back to Elijah Muhammad. Even though his definition is Islam, whatever, whatever. But look how much Islam has helped black men. Even nation Islam, Sunni Muslim, Shia Muslim, whatever Muslims you want. You, 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 who brought you in? Whoever brought you home on a, on the Islamic side. It's been me. It's, a, it's millions of black, millions of black Muslims over here. Shout out to Philly. Do you think some of them brothers in Philly don't wouldn't hop on a plane to get over there? Really? I, I need I, I, I need some of my Philly, I need some of my ox I need some of my, my Muslims my ox I need I need y'all I need some of y'all in the comment section. Now I don't I didn't want to I don't never could see my faith thing is between me and God ain't nothing ain't nobody else business what I how I please or what I do for the Lord. Fuck y'all. But I need I need people with some faith to check in. Some people with good. What have we done? So, dude, get some nuts. Let your nuts drop. 
What do you don't have? But well, we ain't getting nothing back. I can put it back. I can put a comment back up. What do you don't have? I don't care if you if you homeless right now. If you camping out, you sleeping in a tent somewhere. Guess what? You're not getting bombed. You're not getting bombed, bro. I don't care if gas high. I don't care if food high. Struggle to pay ends meet. Yeah, whatever. We, we we've been through it. Been there, done that. Do that all the time. But we ain't had to do that all the time with bombs dropping on us. And I'm gonna wrap it up with that. We ain't had to go through none of all that bullshit with bombs dropping on us. And, and, and we have went through that shit with bombs dropping on us, and we still come back. So I'm gonna hear that shit about we always do for somebody else's time. What are we doing for ourselves? Mr. We tired of doing for everybody else. What have we done for us? What have you done for us? What have you done for us? When was the last time you talked to, to a young black man? Ask him what's good, how you doing, what's going on? Show some compassion for another human being. When was the last time you done something nice? So miss me with that shit. So that's it. I'm going to get back to my research. And uh, next time, flex time with your man, GT, DJ GPS. Peace and head grease, y'all. Yeah, like, 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 subscribe, and share, man. Because if this what y'all, if y'all need this kind of work, I got this kind of work too. I'm still gonna do my. Uh, I know all my gym, I know my music people. They wait for me to uh, do rock that new turntable system. I know it's coming. I ain't in no rush. I take time. I got a lot of things on the plate. But uh, next time, flex time is your man. Peace. <laughs>